Are you crying? There's no crying in baseball! A League of Their Own, released in 1992 and is directed by Penny Marshall, who is behind such films as Big, Awakenings, and The Preacher's Wife. The film stars Tom Hanks, Gina Davis, Madonna, Lori Petty, John Lovitz, David Strathairn, Rosie O'Donnell, and Bill Pullman. A League of Their Own follows the story of Gina Davis and Lori Petty's sister characters in 1943. It was wartime, which meant that a lot of men were going overseas to fight the Nazis, including many major league baseball players, so the league had to be shut down for the time being. That is until the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League was formed to keep the sport going. Davis and Petty arrive at tryouts and both make the cut on the teams, but their team has to deal with former professional baseball star and current resident drunk Tom Hanks as their manager. You know, so many people over the years have been recommending this film. It's just a great movie. Oh, it's a great drama. It's a great sports movie. This was my very first time watching it in full. And I have to say, meh, I just left the viewing experience a little let down just because everyone hyped it up so much for me. Just didn't live up to the hype. This film seemed very surface level. I wasn't getting anything really meaty or really deep on the story or on these characters. And my wife was sitting next to me watching it at the same time and she was having a hard time too. But I'm pretty sure that's because of all the sexist things that John Lovett's character was saying as the recruiter in the first half of this movie. She just kept saying, oh, I wanna punch him. And really, who could blame her? This film is filled with ridiculous sexist comments, but unfortunately, this was the 1940s that's how it was. That's how women were perceived in the workplace and in the world. Women were supposed to be the caretakers of the house. They were supposed to have the meals prepared when the husband got home from work and they were supposed to take care of the kids. And then when the men left overseas to fight in the war, the women were expected to go into the factories and take their place. And they did a kick-ass job. But then when the men come back from the war, the women are expected to, hey, go back to taking care of the house. But the women were basically like, uh, nah, -uh. And that included the sport of baseball. And that's really one of the two major story arcs that are happening in this film. Ticket sales aren't doing well because a bunch of people aren't gonna pay to go see women play baseball. But it doesn't help that the owner of this league thinks it's one big joke and plans to cancel it next season. And when the teams find this out, that's when you start to see the bonding between the players and trying to push this league onto the rest of the country. And that's really the best part of this movie because once the teams are established, each one of these players act like their own personal island. Dottie is doing it to prove that she has something to fight for like her husband, and Kit is doing it to prove that, hey, I'm just as good as my older sister, if not better. Hooch is doing it for her father, Evelyn is doing it for her son, and so on and so forth. But once the threat of closure happens, that's when you start to see the unity and the forming of the sisterhood between these characters. There's actually a beautiful moment in this film, it actually made me tear up a little bit when Shirley Baker is up on the bulletin board trying to find her name to see if she made the team, but the problem is is she can't read. So she's there, she's scared to even mention that, and she's just bawling her eyes out. But then you see one of her teammates come over and say, hey, let me help you, what's your name? Hey, there it is, you're on the team. It's a it's a beautiful moment. And then the second part of this movie is basically the sibling rivalry between Dottie and Kit. Kit is the younger sister to Dottie and she is constantly living in Dottie's shadow. Something that I can definitely relate to growing up because I was the middle child of three boys. So yeah, I was fighting for my parents' attention until I decided, you know what? The dog's attention is good enough, I think. Newton best dog ever. But you see these two and you see the tension growing between them. You see Kit wanting to break out and do her own thing and Dottie being like the mother hen, always protecting her. And these story arcs are really nice on paper and by all accounts they should have worked, but the execution of them I think was a little lackluster. Just such a shame because I really like Penny Marshall as a director. Big is one of my favorite comedies and I was really excited to see that she was directing this film after that one. But to hold her accountable, I think thought the pacing and the editing of this film was just off. You can tell she was really trying to make this film into something revolutionary and to present something that really happened and was really important in the history of women's rights. But the connective tissue just 
wasn't there for me. I also think the bookends of this film really took me out of it, in particular the ending one. Kind of a minor spoiler for those who haven't seen it. After the World Series game, the film jumps ahead to 1988 where we're at the Baseball Hall of Fame and they're opening up an entire wing dedicated to the girls' baseball league. And everyone is meeting everybody and every there's so many smiles going around and they're seeing what everyone was doing and who has passed away. And then Dottie and Kit see each other. Kit has her whole family there, by the way. And they look at each other like they haven't seen each other since 1940, which I find extremely hard to believe. It was just way too cheesy for me, and it's one of those endings that I think really killed the film for me. When you try to see this film as something important, revolutionary, but then when you tack on an ending like that where it's all smiles and all, oh, how are you? Oh, this is great. We did some great stuff. Ugh. No, that's way too cheesy. So to keep this kind of short, in the end, A League of Their Own was a disappointment to me. I think there are definitely things to like about this film. Its subject matter is great, and I thought that Madonna, Gina Davis, and Lori Petty give great performances. Hell, all of the actresses on these teams give great performances. Tom Hanks was great as the drunken manager, but I definitely wanted to see a lot more from him. They gave him very limited screen time here. But I have to say that I think where this film was lacking overall was in the directing. The pacing of it is strange, the editing is weird, just the connective tissue just wasn't there and it just left me baffled. So I'm gonna give A League of Their Own two and a half out of five Blu-rays. I'm just an ordinary guy with nothing to lose. All right, everyone, now comes my favorite part in my videos where I randomly select which movie I'm watching next. Let's take a look. Hmm, The Book of Eli. Only thing I know about this movie is that Denzel Washington is in it and that it probably takes place in a futuristic, devastated, world. I think this was like 2010, 9-ish, somewhere around there. I really wanted to see it when it was out in theaters, and I just never got around to it, and I haven't seen it since. And then I picked the DVD up for extremely cheap, so it's kind of just been sitting here and never got around to watching it. All I know is that Denzel Washington is one of my favorite actors, and if he's the title character in a picture, it's gotta be good, right? Oh no, I heard some pretty bad things about it, but hey! We'll check it out next time. So everyone, have you seen A League of Their Own? What did you think about it? Or if you've never seen it before and you stumbled across it because of this video, please comment below, let me know what you thought about it. And when you're done commenting, please like and subscribe to my channel so you know the next time I'm posting my next movie review. And make sure you stay tuned for my Journey to Episode 100 and Beyond series where from episode 71 to 100, I'm gonna be going over a 30 movies a day listing. All of these will be released leading up to episode 100, so please stay tuned for that. So everyone, I will see you next time with my review of Book of Eli. So in the meantime, be well, be good to each other, and go watch a movie. Take care, guys.